thank you for joining me today. We're back with more Fallout New Vegas. I haven't even left Good Springs yet. Um, please, as a reminder, I am playing this no spoilers. So please, please, please um, ask before saying anything. Assume I know absolutely nothing because I don't. I've never played a Fallout game. Um, I don't know anything about this game. Um, I literally haven't even left Good Springs yet. So please, 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 no spoilies. <laughs> I would like to experience this for the first time like everyone else had a chance to do. Um, so last we left off, I did some... Questing for Sunny. That's right. I gotta bring stuff to Sunny. Um, I have to remember my buttons. Give me a minute. There we go. <laughs> uh, map. That's good spring. Accepted. Oh, that's nice. It tells you your faction uh relationships. That's nice. Um there we go. Sorry, learning how to control this is a little funky. Um, what other quests do I have? Bring the thing to Sunny. Track down the source of the Sierra Madre invitation. Find the Happy Trails caravan. Oh, a lot of these are like DLC that I don't want to do. So I'm just going to go find Sunny for now. Right. I was facing the direction I had to go in and then completely forgot. <laughs> Can't give spoilers if you never played the game. <laughs> big, big brain there. I would like to... Where are you? Also, uh, I have an imperative mission, and that's not to let Cheyenne die. Sunny has a dog, and turns out the dog can die, and I can't let that happen. What is this? Bent tin can. Why would I pick up junk? Yeah, unfortunately, doggy, you can die, and I... What kind of dog girl would I be? What, eat the can? Can you eat cans in this game? It's empty. There's no beans in it or anything. Hello? Sunny? Are you here? There you are. Just... Moonwalking? Oh, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Where did the coy- Come on! The coyote just spawned. Oh, uh, hello? Let me see what you got. <laughs> yeah, these will do just <gasps> fine. Just fine. All right, now, we're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay, thanks, Sunny. Are we just going to ignore the coyote that spawned? I'll take some coyote shmeat, sure. Healing power, rock flower, and xander root. Except... Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I don't think I've met Trudy yet. What am I supposed to do with tin cans? Become goat, eat can- No, I'm a dog, not a goat. God. Rude. <laughs> I love the smell of super mutant virus in the morning. <laughs> There's a lo- Ooh, too long. Box. Box. All right, this is all just garbage. Water valve? Ooh, it's not radiated. That's nice. Hey there. I like drinking not radioactive water. That's always good. <laughs> I end up being a hoarding pack rat when I play Fallout. I... It depends on the game. A lot of the times I'll just hoard, like, healing items and never use them. Because what if I need it in an emergency, right? So then I never use it. And then I just have, like, a zillion potions. 
Some campfire recipes require junk. Well, that's baloney. I don't want to carry junk. I'm not strong. <laughs> I don't have a lot of room for junk. Ugh. Anytime that you're low on health is an emergency. Yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean. All right, I should go meet Trudy. Is anything scary going to happen at night? I don't think in Good Springs. This is the tutorial zone. I'd be surprised if, like, a bunch of mobs just dropped on top of me. Okay, so Trudy's in here, right? So... I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? What do you want? I just want to know who's who's Ringo. I'm nosy. He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. These people don't bother no one. Hold on. Why is this your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Uh -huh. What were you in prison for? None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. I'm stupid. Oh, speech 20. I just need to know if I should watch my step around you. Rob some people. Burn some things. Killed a few guys. Oh, good. What's been going on elsewhere? Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. Know anything about Hoover Dam? Never been there since the NCR's got troops all over it. Must be pretty important. All right. Well, you're a jerk. I don't want you. Yeah. Being in control of this town. Hi, right, Trudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. What was that argument all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is he now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not, why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? <laughs> Gamer Goblin, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I know it's not like Halloween-y, but I really like sci-fi stuff. You could be evil. Here's the problem. Whenever I've attempted an evil playthrough in a game, I end up feeling bad. I can't do it. Because, like, you're always, like, it's always so comically bad. These people, here's the thing. These people in Good Springs have been nothing but kind to me. They healed me from a gunshot wound to the head. They fed me they clothed me they gave me weaponry they taught me how to survive I, I was literally left for dead and these people were like yeah we don't know you from a hole in the ground but we'll help out it would be so messed up of me to them be like mm, yeah i want to own you now like <laughs> that just feels so mean i dressed up as mario once <laughs> that's true i was a cat for many years for halloween i get the irony as a dog girl but that's the point of halloween is that you're something you're not also, cat costumes are really cheap. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I just, like, how how am I supposed to be like, yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with these men who are proud of murdering and pillaging and breaking out of prison. That sounds like a good gang to spend time with. No, because they'll shank me the moment it benefits them. I'm, I'm Team Good Springs, y'all. It would really break my heart if it turns out they're like a psycho cult or something. There isn't a lot of subtlety in a lot of games where you can choose to be a villain. Yeah, you're either Paragon of Justice or Comically Evil. It's kind of my beef with, like, the Dawnguard questline in Skyrim. You're either an evil vampire that has human cattle in your basement. Or you just eradicate every undead that exists. Like, it's a really weird... I wish there was, like... I don't know. It would have been interesting if the vampires were a bit more sympathetic. Right? 
you know like i don't know it's yeah there's no middle ground exactly and that's when it's like uh, why uh so why not just kill Co why don't we just murder the guy you mean murder him that's not our way even if Cobb is scum he can bluster and threaten all he wants well then what are you gonna do some of the others like sunny will probably stand up for ringo if he asks for help which he hasn't personally i hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him powder gangers chain gangs really the ncr brought them in from california to work on the rail lines problem is it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea <laughs> oh god it was a big escape not too long ago some of them stuck together so they could make trouble that's what we're dealing with now oh geez all right so i want to talk about something else all right what happens if i help ringo if you were able to get ringo out of this mess you'd have a decent reputation around good springs I'd even set you up with a discount. I like discounts. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Yeah, but I don't want to be friend with... I don't want to be friends with villains who like blowing things up. That doesn't really sound like a... Nice crew. <laughs> but, uh, hey, you want me to kill that guy? <laughs> I'm not... Look, I don't want to be a bad dog girl. But I do believe in a little bit of utilitarianism. <laughs> Maybe the most subtly evil you can be is in a 4X game like Civilization. Oh, for sure. Hey, I love blowing things up. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to blow things up if it means upending people's lives, you know? Uh, so if I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more, what if I help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Got it. Faction stuff. Uh, who was Cobb? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Oh, I'm trying to track down the people who shot me in the noggin. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Good. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did they say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Ah, uh, I don't want to go there. That sounds awful. Uh, so where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Oh, yeah, let me see if I can look at your broken radio. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. You know the robot? Oh, Victor, right? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here it mostly keeps to itself which is just fine by me mm. you don't like them just put a sponge it'll absorb the radiation <laughs> it acts friendly enough but i don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act i find it all very creepy what does he actually do other than rolling around once in a while it doesn't do anything useful as far as i can tell I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Mmm. How long has it been here? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Uh, anything else going on? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. You get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim. Unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Okay. Um, why do they both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. Got it. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Oh, wait, I want to sell stuff. Oh, I leveled up. Oh, 
okay, I need help here. Uh, this is when backseating is fully allowed because I don't know what my options are. Bear in mind, I'm going for like, um, pa pac pacifist run as much as possible. What? <laughs> I did say charisma. Um, I would love to get my science up, I think, so I can hack stuff. My speech is at 34. That's actually my currently highest stat. So I don't know if I need to put anything into that right now. Um, repair. My repair is 23 as well. Pacifist, does it include non-sentience? When I say pacifist, I mean more like I'm not going for like a hard pacifist run. It's more like if I can avoid conflict as much as possible, I want to. Science, speech, and lockpick are all good. Yeah. Survival helps getting better at recipes. Then maybe I'll put a little bit into survival. And a little bit more into science. Yeah, it's the extroverted nerd route. Exactly. Um, but... Does that feel good? That feels good for me, but I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Which combat style are you planning on when you're forced to fight? Um, normally in these kinds of games, I really like sniping because I don't want things to get close to me. But it's really hard to do that because a lot of places are like close quarters, right? Um, I don't think I want to use explosives or energy weapons. Like, I think I just want to do regular old pew pew, you know? Imagine running to someone in the Mojave Desert going, Oh man, have you ever heard about the Elder Scrolls? <laughs> Uh, I prefer doing... Well, in single-player games, I like playing snipers, but not in PvP, because I'm not that good at it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not planning to do melee. I'm not really planning to do... I don't usually do explosives a lot. I usually just do straight, like, assault rifles, you know? I don't like shotguns. It's too... It's too risky. Um... I think I'll put a little bit more into guns. And I think I think this is what I want to go for. Um Yeah, cuz I can always change the difficulty, right? If I'm like really struggling. Isn't that a thing you can do? I think so. I think I'm just going to do this. Welcome to la Oh, choose a perk. Um, Black Widow. In combat, you do 10 plus 10% 10 damage against male opponents. Outside of combat, you'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the opposite sex. <laughs> okay. In combat, you do plus 10% 10 damage against female opponents. Outside of combat, you'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the same sex. Intense training, you can put a special point into any of your special attributes. With the retention perk, the bonus is granted by skill magazines last three times as long. With each rank in the swift learner perk, you gain an additional temp- I really like the idea of... One of the first two. I was thinking Black Widow would be useful because typically these games have more men than women. Um... So... Purely from a numbers game. Oh, I can get both? Oh, hell yeah. Then I want to get both. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get both. I'm going to get... I'm going to be... Do you want to be femme fatale or hella gay? Can I be both? <laughs> Hello, bisexual dog here. I would like to be both. I'm going to grab a uh, fancy lady one first. And I'm going to pick up Black Widow next. <laughs> Um, I have stuff thirsty? that I want to sell. Oh, wait, 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 Um, how do I repair the... Nope, nope. 
Uh, how do I open my pit boy? There we go. How do I repair the radio? Oh, is it? Oh, thank you for the save reminder. Hold on. Thank you. Got to turn that back on. My bad. Um. Oh, she said the radio was outside, right? Or is it in here? No, I think it's outside. Evening. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's on the counter. Okay, I'm a little dingus. Um. Chocolate. Oh, here it is. Um, is oh, I did it. I fixed it. I wasn't sure if my repair was high enough, but I think it was. Pretty. Did you go outside? Pretty. I fixed your radio. I need money, please. Where did you go? I could have sworn she went outside. At night time, did she leave? What? Huh? Jumbo, hello! Rudy, I fixed your stuff for you. Now pay me, please. Ugh. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Um, oh, can you suggest a route to Prim? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with the roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Sounds good to me. Hello, Eldiff. Welcome in. Welcome in. She left in the bar while there's a patron at the counter. Zero out of five stars. <laughs> Um, oh, is there any work available? Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Oh, I already got it, but thanks. What are the bobby pins for? Yeah, That's for lock picking. If the lock's too much for you to handle. Right, 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 right. I already cracked it. Oh, well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. Uh, what do you do around here? I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rat scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Why is it specifically called a rad scorpion? <laughs> Steen, welcome in, hello. You showed up on my top of my recommended. Tell me something. Unleash your inner salesman. Tell me why I should stick around. <laughs> um, um, um. Why would you ask an introvert to sell themselves? I'm not. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> my brain just blue screened. Uh, I guess for serious though, for everyone who's new here, hello. Uh, I am Clara Dogford. I'm not usually a robot. This is for Halloween. Um, I do have outfits you can redeem with channel points, but for Halloween, I'm just gonna wear this for fun, for for you know festivities. Um, I am. I don't really play a specific type of game. I tend to really like RPGs and action adventure games. I also like doing stuff really that's cursed and weird. I once did a review of Feet, of the Animal Kingdom specifically, but it was a Feet review. So, <laughs> thank you for the follow. I guess that worked. <laughs> I do really want to do more karaoke streams though. I'm, I'm really, I've been saying this for months, but I keep having to delay it because of health problems, but I'm like seriously hoping to do a karaoke stream next month. Uh, I want to figure out how to get reverb on my mic. And then um, I think to do things easy, I want to start with like a bunch of songs that I just know that are easy to sing. I don't have to like rehearse them a lot, like rock songs, jam out songs, pop punk, whatever. Um, 
Is your voice doing okay? Yes, I, I, it is much better. I was diagnosed with acid reflux a few months ago, and so that was like hurting my voice, but I'm much better. <laughs> Sweet Caroline. Bah, bah, bah. That's the kind of karaoke you want to listen to, right? The the sweet dulcet tones of <laughs> I promise I can sing. I'm just being a little grumbling about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm I'm also an artist. So every once in a while, I also do art streams where all I do is sing to myself and forget how to draw lines. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Ildiv. I appreciate it. Uh, all right, what else is in Good Springs? Sure. What do you want to know? Uh, what else is around here? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. I don't know what critters do take kindly to getting shot. I don't know who Chet is, so the answer is no. <laughs> I know I do a lot of, hey, how about trying this thing for a stream, but have you ever played Monster Prom? I've actually always wanted to play Monster Prom. I know it's multiplayer, so I, I really would like to play it with other people. Um, it's just a matter of, like, scheduling. <laughs> but I really would like to, I, there's been requests for me to play more dating sims, and I would like to. Sleepy Raccoon, hello! General store next to saloon. Oh, I think I stopped by there once. Um, what else? What's out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. Nice. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. Ew. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Why do they get bigger? Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. That's all I wanted to, want to know. Thanks. Until next time. Ugh. I hate that. Jen, doing okay? Mwah, I love you. Okay, um, can I sleep in a bed? Because it's, it's, it's bedtime. And usually when I play games, I like to sleep in, like, inns and stuff. But I don't know... If that option exists. That's a general store. Um... What's that little map marker? I have this like little, little baby marker and I don't know why it's on my map. Um, Your house has a light on. Can I sleep in your bed? Oh, it's Doc Mitchell's house. Can I sleep in Doc Mitchell's house? Can I sleep here? Nope. Um... Hip Hades, hello! I'm well. I guess I'll just wait. Because it doesn't look like I'm allowed to sleep here. Okay. Oh, there's an abandoned trailer? Ooh. Okay, I'll do that instead. Thank you for that. I just have to find it. Um. What proficiencies have I invested in? I'm going for Charisma Intelligence. I, I think those are proficiencies <laughs> in this game. Um, so yeah, I'm going for, like, a. if I can talk my way out of combat, that's the goal. And if I can hack my way out of doors, that is also the goal. Is the Good Springs helm? No, that's not a trailer. Um, that's a trailer. Hello, Bighorn. Don't murder me, please. Uh, Look at that, a free bed. Ooh. That stuff is heavy. Um, gonna sleep, let's see, at 10.30. Um, that seems like enough. Did you grab a shovel? No. Why would I want a shovel? Oh, if you sleep, it heals you? Nice. Okay, I just generally like... When I play RPGs, I don't know, it feels bad to make my person have to run around for like... 78 hours without resting. <laughs> Just wait for death claws. I don't want to. That sounds awful. <laughs> no thanks. Okay, how do I... 
Which button? This button. Um, yeah, I want to talk to Ringo and I want to help Good Springs out. They've been real good to me. So if I can get these weird escaped convicts out of town, I would like to do that. Ringo. Are you not in here? I thought the map marker was pointing to this house, but I guess not. But then what would the escape convicts go? I don't know, maybe they should have thought about that before they escaped. <laughs> Sorry. Marcus, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Hello. Um Oh, he's in the gas station, right? That's what that's what Trudy said. Hello. Uh I'm gonna save just just be safe. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Um If you're gonna shoot, you better not miss. <laughs> nah, I just want I'm not I'm not here to fight you, bud. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? I don't, I don't, ugh. is this a card game? I, I hate when video games have card games in it and you have to like play them to get stuff. Like Gwent, I'm sorry. I'm not saying Gwent is a bad game. I just hate having to play it, right? I don't want to have to play, I, ugh. let's care, man. It's a two player game and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? I... As much as I would like to do that, because I feel like it would probably make him happy, um, I don't... I'm sorry, but I don't... I don't do it. Sorry. All right. I don't. I don't like them. You bad another like, what? I'm not saying it's bad. To be clear, I just. I just don't like it. I don't like. I don't. I don't play RPGs to play cards. If I want to play a card game, I'll play a card game. You know. <laughs> He's buttering you up for board game night. I'd rather play a board game than a card game. Um. Did you know Job Co Joe Cop is looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Uh, why are they out for you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. That sucks. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. Hmm. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Here, read this 32-page instruction booklet and start painting your minifig. We'll play in six hours. <laughs> oh, God. Raiders also mean, yeah, like, I can understand wanting to steal someone's stuff, but imagine just being like, look, hands up, give me the goods, and then we'll go, you know? <laughs> are you here to kill me? Uh, no. Good, we're gonna play some cards. <laughs> um, what are you gonna do about them? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Uh, maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board. Oh, okay. All right, this is tricky. I like the people of Good Springs. I'd like for them to not get murdered. If we just leave this powder gang alone, they're not gonna, they're like a festering wound. They're not going anywhere. They're just gonna remain being a problem. But I, it, mm, mm, I just don't want more people to, here's my fear. My fear is if I get the town to help, people die. And that, that's the whole point is to avoid that. 
So it sounds like the only options being presented to me is join the powder gang or murder the powder gang. And I just really wish there was a third option. I don't know if I can talk my way out of this one though. <gasps> Shabby! Thank you so much Bark for the two. <laughs> Thank you so much for the tier one resub. Thank you for three months. I appreciate that. When I played the game on PC, I went with the Russian Badger setup. Have 10 strength, 10 luck, 8 agility, 9 endurance, but a sub brick intelligence, charisma of a misanthrope, and the perception of a death bat! <laughs> oh my god. That must have been... I, I do like when games let you um, do crazy stats like that, though. It's fun. I'll ask around. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yeah, because I, I like this town, and I'd like for them to not deal with this junk, you know? Murder's wrong. Video game murder, though. <laughs> I don't know why I can't just go to the NCR and be like, hey, those people who escaped are here. Go arrest them, please. <laughs> but I'm guessing the NCR have bigger fish to fry. <clears throat> Morning. Oh wait, Trudy. Hello. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Uh, I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Oh man, I gotta get my barter up. That sucks. Wait, could I? No, I can't select it. All right, thanks. You're welcome. So, can I get you anything? Um. Be Yo, Sunny, you wanna fight? Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Raw, hello. Welcome in. Say no more. I'm in. Ooh. Wow. Just like that? Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. Uh. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite oh. somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. <coughs> Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Uh, any ideas on how to convince Trudy? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Uh, okay, what about Chet? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. <laughs> okay, what about Pete? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Ah, shoot, I don't know diddly about explosives. God dang it. I'll be Oh, this is gonna be tough. Um. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Oh, interesting. Speech, you should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. Sneak. Near the saloon and store are good spots to stage an ambush if I had the help. I'm going to go for that. Because I think an ambush is better. Um. Oh, Jumbo, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. My stream schedule um should be evening out next week i post about my streams in discord and on twitter thank you so much um i think we want to be smart about this for sure we want to do an ambush also i'm just gonna have to save scum so that cheyenne doesn't die that does sound like a good plan all right you seem to know what you're doing so you can count me in let me have a word with a few other folks and i'll see if i can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating nice well everyone does own a gun we could stand to be a little better equipped. A general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay, we like that. Be All right, so let's go talk to... Who the hell is that? Is that just a settler? Where's that Pete? Oh, it's Pete! Howdy. Howdy! Uh, what do you know about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. Honestly, Fallout can be very safe, scummy, especially for... I only want to save scum because I don't want the dog to die. That's literally it. That's helpful. <laughs> uh, I heard you've got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. 
Wanna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Ah, uh, dang it. I'm gonna select this anyway, see what happens. Too dangerous. Dang it. All right, I guess if I don't have the skill check, I can't convince him. That's not good. I don't want... Mm. You looking to buy some supplies? I'm looking to survive this fight. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Uh, do you know about the situation? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Oh, I can do this later. Oh. Take it. That's a good point. Maybe I should wait for those to get leveled up a bit. Because I would really like for everyone to live through this. Um. Chet, you're a coward. No, I think Chet makes a really good point, right? Ringo is not from this town. Ringo's just a guy who blew onto, off the road and into town, right? And as far as they're concerned... They don't want to die to a bunch of escaped convicts for a stranger. I understand where Chet's coming from. All right, I guess we'll go to Prim. And then I can always go... Back. Um... Oh, Sloan? NCR Correctional Facility. Okay. Yeah, I do have, I have a lock picking magazine right now, but unfortunately I don't have any of the other stat necessity uh, magazines. So I'm gonna have to find one for explosives. Um, before I leave town, let me sell my junk to Trudy, because she'll give me a better deal. You could help the powder gang. Why on earth would I do that though? They're not good. <laughs> They're really mean. I don't want to be friends with them. Is this the super famous dog VTuber Clara? <laughs> Overkill, hello! How are you? Hold on, Trudy is the surly way, right? Yeah. She'll give me a better deal for my stuff than Chet will, I have a feeling. Jack, why Jack? Thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. Um, Judy? No, Trudy, where are you? There you are. Feeling thirsty? No, I just wanna... Yeah, special discount, love that. Uh, meeting people. I don't need that. That's a speech thing. Purified water. Barter. 20 caps. Cool. Um. How do I sell stuff? There we go. Um. Ew, the meat's got radiation? Gross. Um. Coyote meat. Gecko egg. Gecko hide. Gecko meat. Um. Mantis egg, mantis foreleg. Oh. Oh, I don't plan to ever use throwing spears. I think I'm going to just sell them. Look, you eat what you get out here. <laughs> Ain't exactly a grocer next corner. True. Yokai, hello, Bane. Welcome in. Hello, hello. 20s peanuts. Yeah, 20s not bad at all. Um. Oh, can I sell pre-war money? I'm gonna sell the spear. I'm never gonna use it. Thank you for the hydrate. Can we get an awu? Oh! I'm joking. That was a joke. I don't want to actually howl like a dog. It's embarrassing. <laughs> um... 
Xander root I want to hold on to. The inside of my mouth is blue. Bah. <laughs> Ooh, <bah. laughs> Pre-war money is just a trade commodity. Love that. Cool. Let's... Um... Cool. Let's do that. What? What? <laughs> I will channel point redeem one. No, it's embarrassing. I don't wanna. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna sell all that for now, and I can always sell more later. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, you can bet that. Uh, thanks, Trudy. I like you. Bye. Oh shoot, emo only. Sorry, my button's broken. Kev, you by putting it into emo only for me. <laughs> Do you have the one thing about your dogs have beans? Not quite. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. Just fingos. Um. Oh, I had a question. The convicts escaped from this correctional facility, right? I want to check it out. Thank you, Kef. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I want to check out this correctional facility. I'm curious. Um, I want to be friends with the NCR because the Legion sounds awful. Um... I just have no interest in them. Every everyone I have talked to is like, yeah, the Legion's nuts. I don't want to be friends with them. They don't really sound like good friends. So I'm going to do another save in case the game crashes. Doopy doopy doop boop. Nice. And I want to check out this facility real quick. Because I would like... Also, I would like to have electricity... I have a sneaking suspicion the Legion wouldn't exactly give people access to the dam as easily, so... Um... Abandoned cart? Box, uh, junk. I'll take a tin can. Everyone keeps telling me to. It's not that heavy either. Alright, cool. Let's go this way. Always sunny music, please. Clara <laughs> goes to prison. <laughs> I, like, yes and no. I just want to discover it. Would you mind a money tip? I would love a money tip. I'm real bad at making money in games. Well, Legion's like the Amish? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Um, my, at least... Oh. Before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may want to revise your character. You know, I really like that. I like that they let you play with your build a bit and then let you choose to edit it. That's really nice. Because, like, a lot of games, if you don't like your build, you have to just start over, which is a huge waste of time. I really like that. Um, Every Fallout game does this. Well, more games should do that. I like my build, though, so I'm going to keep going. Electronics sell for a pretty penny. There will be a location in the future that's a legit gold mine noted thank you oh that's right because that guy was talking about how people scavenge for electronics all the time you have discovered several locations you can fast travel to discover locations using the world map in your pit boy okay hello gene skydiving um Damn, radio. Dead terminal. What the hell? Locker. Oh, I can't pick it. I'm not smart enough. Okay. Weird. Uh, where am I going? Cool, I'm on track. We're gonna just keep going this way. Oh, there's a person out there. Here's to hoping they don't murder me. <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? The Brotherhood shoots a mini nuke. <laughs> Pick up your enemy's guns. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it gives you a taste test of dialogue options and stuff. I agree, it's nice. 
Oh, it looks like your stuff broke. Oh, that's someone's dead. Um. Damn, running low on smokes again. Oh, is this the caravan Ringo was with? You eyeballing me? Oh, what the hell was that? Will he be mad if I search his buddy? You all have stuff? Ooh, armor. Sorry, you're not using it anymore. Look at me! I look like Sunny now. So if I just... Just, 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 this is, just, just hear me out. This is just theory crafting. This is all theoretical, hypothetical. If in theory, I murked a guy, say that guy, just as an example, what would happen? Purely hypothetical, of course. Good karma. I don't, I'm, I'm curious, I, you know, um. Never gets old when something blows up. That does not sound like a healthy individual contributing to a healthy society. Yeah, what if this guy just, you know, accidentally got lead poisoning? The gang members won't be happy? Yeah, well, the gang members can eat my shorts. They suck. Notice, hitchhikers may be escaped prisoners. Oh, good. Um, let me tell the NCR that there's a guy who escaped over here. Oh. Rain coming? Oh, I'm good. Hypothetical shorts, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Who are you? Are you a friend? Oh, you got. Oh, these more powder gangers? Oh, you that's not good. Me. That. Mmm. Mmm. That's not good. Do they know that they. Mm. Yeah, they're too busy fighting the Legion, right? What the hell is that sound? I don't like that. Oh no! He fell and his gun went off, causing a fatal wound. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? You gonna let me in? Ow. Hello? Oh, hello? Open oven. Squirrel on stick. Ooh, wasteland omelet. No rads here. Nice. Thank you. Engine, thank you for the follow. Haster, thank you for the follow. Hello. Um. Hmm, that looks good. Oven pilot lights? I can take a pilot light off of an oven? Hold on. The hell is an oven pilot light? How do I find it? Huh? They're in its inventory? Oh, it's like a sometimes font. Got it. Okay. Good to know that I can shuffle around in there. Oh, uh, hello? Uh... I'm not seeing anyone in here. Um. Oh, there is somebody. Okay. Pretty sure the door is not this way, but I'm just, I've committed. So I'm just gonna go all the way around. Wait, can I get put in prison if I don't become friends with the NCR? Will they put me here? Because that... No? Really? That's kind of a bummer. There isn't prison? Isn't this a correctional facility? What else would it be? Oh, here's the door. Absolutely no entry. Trespassers will be prosecuted.
Let's find out what happens if we go inside. Hello. Hey there, girly. You here to party with the powder gangers? Oh no. Did they take it over? This? This is or was the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. Uh, so who's in charge now? That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. Okay, what are you? That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. Hmm, can I go in? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. Qu Why are you sticking around? We've got the biggest, baddest fort in the wasteland. There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. Mm. Yeah, whatever. I don't like that. So if I just, like, murdered Eddie, what would happen? Because these guys aren't really doing anything good. I mean, obviously, I can't just, like... Yeah, hypothet... Hypothet... Of course, hypothetically, I'm not actually gonna... M murder anyone. No, of course. Um, if I ever get strong enough, it'd be nice to just kind of... Clear that place out. Everyone and their mother will go after you. Well, only in the powder gangers, right? Well, that's a huge bummer that... Pfft, that got stolen. Um, alright, cool. Uh, what is Sloan? It's not, it's not the way I'm supposed to be going, but... I'm kind of... Oh, wait, I'm like right next to Prim. I should just go to Prim. I wanna place a marker. Uh, we'll go up and around. Clean house, you mean? Yeah, it's just a hypothetically clear house, you know? Because that's a really valuable location if it has energy and clean water. It's kind of a shame that a bunch of jerks have taken it over, you know? Well, I'll just follow the train tracks. I can't possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong. Yeah, soloing an entire jail right now is a horrible idea. I don't have the equipment or the skills to survive that, but, like, in the future... Yeah, a little spring cleaning! <laughs> and we're gonna run to Prim. Ooh, that looks gross. That looks very not safe. Uh, hello? Prim? Fire's rifle! Wait a minute, this is a dub room! <laughs> Could you imagine? Ooh, I can harvest this. Jalapeno? I can't eat those. Ugh. <laughs> Voluptuous lamp, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, God. Is it mad at me? Ew, I hate it. Goodbye. Um, do I have to fight it? I have to fight it. Didn't shoot it. I'm just gonna run away. I'm gonna take the road. God, leave me alone. You're gross. Ew. Oh, I got a lot of red. What the hell? Oh, it's mad. Oh, it's mad. Oh, God. Um, I'm not getting any stats. Why not?
What the hell? Why won't it die? They said if I stuck to the road, there wouldn't be anything scary here. I was lied to. Why aren't you dead yet? Critical strike, nice. Oh, now you're running? No, 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 no. You started this fight. We're ending this fight, you little ding-dong. Get back here. That's right. God. <sighs> okay. I know I can do more than one shot, but I can't figure out how. <laughs> God. Frickin' jerks. Yeah, thankfully, geckos die and sell for money, but then I have to buy more ammo, and I don't like spending money. Click a second time? Oh, okay, I'll try that next time. It might also be that I don't have a lot of action points to spend, I think. Could be wrong, though. Um... Got a flag. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Why? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Oh, god dang it. Um... We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. Mm. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Okay. Man, so everything comes back to these freaking convicts, huh? These guys are just the worst. I don't know why you would want to team up with them. Is the tent down this way? Hello? Hayes? The NCR is the most cowardly military force I've ever seen. I mean, I don't blame someone for not wanting to die a very preventable death. Like... I don't have any quest markers for this yet. So I don't really know where Hayes is? Hello, Wiggles! Welcome in! Um... My little dingus? Where's that tent that they were talking about? He said up the road. I went up the road. There's no tent. I don't want to get too close to town and end up with a bullet in my brain. Cross over the overpass. Ah, oh, thank you. Can I go? Oh, I guess I have to go this way. I don't want to eat lead again. All right, hold on. Let me save. I don't have to go this way. I think I'll be okay. I saved. Worst case scenario, I just saved scum, you know? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, cool. Okay. That's good, right? Did I do good? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this is why you saved. All right, let's just go back this way. <laughs> you weren't wrong when you were like, mm, maybe don't go that way, Clara. And I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Everything. Oh, my God. All righty. Well, that's fine. We're just going to go. You think the first explosive would have taught me a lesson, but nope. 
<laughs> All right, let's just go this way. You're the guy who warned me, right? You're the trooper? Okay, so if I go this way... This looks more right, I think. It's a little milk out spot. Hello? Anybody home? I'm guessing this is Haze. No. Got business here? I'd like to if I could find your buddy. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> the worst happens. Are you also a trooper? Oh, Sergeant McGee. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Oh, okay. Um... Guessing he's in one of these tents. No? I guessed wrong. Hey. Hi. There you are. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What's the problem? mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. Convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. Mm. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Mm. What about the facility? Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. Mm. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And I've been ransacking the area since then. Yeah, I kind of ran into them. They suck. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. Mm. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. I have some... Amp. How do I help you, though? Yeah. Goodbye. But, huh? Ooh, thanks for the flashlight tip. There we go. The powders suck lots of egg. But how uh, do I actually help you guys? Ma'am? Mojave Outpost. So I'm in the wrong place to like start whatever this quest line is. Um, because I kind of need to be doing things. Um, I guess I'll go figure out what Sloan's about because. I can't do anything in Prim until I can figure out how to help them. You got yourself a big iron, don't you? Wait, I can't fight all these guys. I'm level two. If I try to fight all these powder gangers, I'm just gonna get blown up. I don't really know how I can be of help to them. Like, Oh, Clara, the big iron! It big! With a big iron on her hip. Um. Alright, I will humor you all. Okay? I'm gonna humor you all. Let's see how far I get. But. I'm real good at, at disarming these. I 
I have like half HP. I'll be fine. Don't sneak, be quick. Hold on. Let me try this again. I want to figure out how to do this. Okay, so I'm crouching, right? Right? Here's standing, here's crouching. I don't know if I can get close enough to it to pick it up. What do you mean right on the money? I don't know what, what does it mean? Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to do this. That's fine. That did the job. Yeah, like it works, you know? But now I just have to, to fight everyone. Oh, you could shoot them, but that's a waste of ammo. <laughs> oh, can you... Does this game have, like, a physics engine? That's nifty. Not seeing any... Powder gangers. I keep tapping that so I can try and... Schmirk them. Yeah, I'm doing the VAT scan technique for sure. Um... Hey, Mojave Express! That's where I used to work. Oh, that's a dead body. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm low on AP. Ow. Ow. Ow, 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 These guys are better armed than me. Oh, that's bomb. <laughs> Y'all, I don't think I can do this. I'm gonna die. I'm too low for this. <laughs> I can't... <sighs> There's only one other way I can think of making this work. Um... I gotta get the, the big weapons. Grenade rifle? Let's try it. Ours oh, a robot? Yes. Hello! <laughs> Thank you for the follow, JJ. I appreciate it. That's the thing. I got the, like, special edition of the game, so I got a bunch of fancy stuff. Um... So, let's see if I can brute force this. If not, I just want to check out Sloan. I'm not too worried about doing this yet. There's another guy. Hey, I blasted off his arm! That worked. Come here, bud. All right, where's your friend? I think it's just you. Come on, let's tango, bitch. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Come closer. Did that not murder him? Oh, I crippled, crippled his arm. That's right. Run, you coward. Where'd you go? I'm just gonna take your friend's stuff real quick.
How much weight do I have? Nice. It's gonna be you next, mister. Oh, ow. Okay, that doesn't go as far as I thought it would. Hey there, buddy. There goes your arm. Change my mind. I think I kind of like these big pew pews. Um. Like using a bazooka to kill a fly, but I can't argue with results. <laughs> Hello, welcome in everyone. All right, so look, what matters is it's working. Um, but now I have to find everyone else and merc all of them too. I need to heal myself. I should find a bed. Vicky and Vance. Thank you for the hydrate. Well, what could possibly go wrong? I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Oh, who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband of Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express Outpost. Shouldn't you remember who I am then? Because I'm a courier for you. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost the package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, yeah, here. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Hmm. and welcome in. Hello. Brain cells. Hello. Hello, everyone. Oh, uh, what was strange about the package? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Hold on. Cowboy robot? Is Victor not a cowboy robot? But Victor saved me. So what, did Victor get a guilty conscience for a robot? What the hell? Um, he canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Ah, uh, okay. Um, that one robot? Like that one? Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you and me. That sounds like Victor. Uh, someone stole my package and a checkered suit guy showed up. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. Uh-huh. He said he saw a fella with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Yeah. Yeah, one of them shot me, so I would like to know how to, um, just have a chat. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Ooh, dog Since friend. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. All right. I have I other guess. stuff to ask you about. Uh, where can I get information on the man that shot me? What time? <laughs> a beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Thank you. All right. Um, 
I want to ask you more about that delivery. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. Oh, that's everything. All right. Um. So I guess this is a safe zone. Move along, please. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino. You're Museum. adorable. Who are you? Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! I love this robot. Prim Slim is my new best friend. Who are Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story. If I, I'm sorry, y'all. I need to know more about this. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first. Any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Ooh. Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. Ooh. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless too. <laughs> Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. Hmm. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Well, that's interesting. Ooh, I got a brochure. Tell me about Prim. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum, so you came to the right place, partner. You can actually visit some of these places? No way, that's cool. What about the Bison Steve Hotel? <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealer's over there cheap, and that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. Mmm, so what's this place? Why? Oh, yeah, okay. Happy Thank you, Prim Slim. I love you. You're my new best friend. Salmon case. Vance's gun, the 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case to the left of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in the paper-wrapped box under some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired, and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended its notorious owner's life. The weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun. <laughs> so long as his aim was exact and he was starting with a full clip. Or even more if he had additional ammo clips and remembered to reload. Incredible. That's goofy as hell. Alright, you're all residents. That's creepy. Um, anyone else to talk to, or are these all just my- oh, Ruby! Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Uh, who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. She's married to the other Pleased guy. to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. Hmm, what do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. Ew. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. Ugh. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Because that'll kill you dead. Ma'am? I can always resell it. Does sound good, don't it? I don't have any red scorpion glands. What? Yes, you'll be needing. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. <laughs> so I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. 
It's a sad state of affairs. All right. Thanks, Ruby. Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat the casserole, but I would love to sell it because I do oh, like money. Please. Also, I don't like gambling, so I'm not planning to do that. Where did Mr. Nash go? How do I, like, rid Prim of this problem? Where is he? Mr. Nash! Mr. Nash, sir, where'd you go? Oh, whoa! Why did you use your gun out? Ma'am, it's so rude. Oh, Beagle, that's right. Thank you. I was confused. <laughs> Let's go, let's go check out Bison Steve. So yeah, I didn't actually get a quest from him. Um, I gotta be careful because those gangsters are still roaming around. They'll probably respawn until I fix whatever's plaguing Prim. This does not look good. I immediately don't like this. Uh, let's check out this. Oh, shoot, the light makes me more noticeable. That makes sense. All right, let me turn that off. Thank you. Okay. Uh... All right. I'm not real good at this, but let's start with... Yeah, it's like Wordle, which is actually a really good way of explaining it. I have to look for brackets, right? Dud remove. Okay. So those symbols aren't part of it. Exact match. Ooh. I just guessed. Nice. I like when I stumble into things. What the hell? Is that a skeleton? Hold the phone. Why is there a skeleton in your locked... Um... I'm gonna keep trusting my good buddy, Slim. Wow, everything gives you rads, huh? All foods just give you some radiation. Isn't that how it, how it be, huh? Locked safe, huh? Oh, I can't pick it? God dang it. All right, well, I immediately don't like the looks of that. Um, the dead body in a locked door? I hate it. Oh. Hey, that worked. No one's gonna come running, right? It's not like they heard that, right? Who's there? I wanna change my weapon. Um...
Ooh, garbage. Ooh! I love it when people throw away money. Okay. Where are you? Where'd you go? Did you run away? The coward? He's not dead. Where'd he run off to? Agari, hello! What the hell? Did you know that the Mission Impossible theme has a weird time signature? And it's become the time signature for spy music? I did not know that! Summer Traveler, thank you for the follow! Oh, wait. He ran all the way down the hall. Eat it. Ooh. Um. There we go. lot of junk I gotta sell. I should also probably heal myself. So it looks like Vice and Steve, or whatever the owner's name is, um, not having a good day. Take everything. I'm gonna run out of equipment space, though. Like, I'm gonna run out of, uh, 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 uh inventory space. Kaze, you're hurt! Wait, drink soda! Wait, can soda heal you in this game? <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Um, I want to repair. I can repair a gun with another gun? That's pretty nifty. Okay. Um, my armor's doing just fine, so that's good. I would like to... I'll pen you, will heal me. Okay. How do you think repairing worked? I don't remember. <laughs> um... I already saved. There we go! That's just a collapsed hallway, right? Okay. Weapons and armor can be used to repair like items. Got it. Fire hose bombs. Hmm. 
found you. Oh wait, no, Deputy Beagle's my friend. I don't want to kill you. Oh. Um, that dog Reno there is nice and exposed. <laughs> you fool! Ant meat, sure. Um. <laughs> You're naked. Your butt's out. Um. Oh wait, hold on. You had a friend. Oh god. Oh. You got more than one friend. All right, I'm gonna wait for you to come to me. Ew. Why are you wearing a sock on your head? Ugh. <laughs> Oh god. Ow! Oh god! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Don't mind me. I just gotta open my Pip Boy real quick. And. Um. Damage resistance. HP. I don't wanna kill the doc, so I gotta stick with this weapon. Wait for you to get a little closer. Ow! I'm back here, you coward! Um... Where'd you go? Did I kill him? Where'd the convict leader go? Oh! You went around? There we go! I got him! Uh, we're gonna take that, we're gonna take that. Drained fuel tank? What the hell is that for? Flamer fuel? Incinerator. Um. Take your incinerator? How heavy is it? Cool. Hey, I think I murdered everyone. Pilot light. Hi. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. <laughs> I gotta get going. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I'm not gonna keep the ammo. I just want to sell it. I don't have enough. I don't have enough weight space to take all the ammo. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Um... I hear you have information on the cons. My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my... Oh, uh, I wish I had higher speech. All right, fine, I'll set you free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think... If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. Oh. Why, uh, of course. <laughs> I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Hmm. I don't trust you one smidge, Mr. Beagle. Um. Just taking what has value. I see you, mister. Ha -ha! Are you doing hardcore? No, I've never played before. Oh, no, I don't want to kill you, Deagle. I don't want to kill you, Beagle. I just want to kill the convicts. 
Um, man, I'm getting some good shmoney out of this. I don't have any, like, inventory space left. I don't think there's any one left in here. So I just have to get him out of here now, right? That's that's the goal. We, we ought to leave. Cody, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. I can go upstairs. Ooh. What's upstairs? How do I get upstairs? This upstairs? This is upstairs. Okay. Oh, are cigarettes worth a lot? Okay. I'll have to grab those. Thank you. Um. Okay. I'm going to take a quick stretch break real fast. So if y'all don't mind, it's going to be like a minute. Actually, I got to pee. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break to stretch and use the bathroom. Thank you for the ad break, Kaze. I will be back in a few minutes. And we're gonna figure out what the hell's upstairs. And then hopefully I can save Beagle um, from whatever he was captured by. So I'll be back in a minute. Grab a snack, stretch your leggies if you're able. Grab a drink. I'll be back in a moment. I'll, hold up, first I gotta get the head pads, of course. Yeah. Thank you, I'll be back. Bow, 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 bow. I have like a big rice cracker. And ugh, I just want to eat it real quick, if that's okay. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. Okie dokie. Let's go upstairs. Oh my god. I very nearly shot Beagle. Oh my god, no. Don't want to fight you. Whoa, the water fountain has rads. That's always good. We love radiated water. Um. Oh! Beagle, I would love it if you freaking fought. Beagle, sir. You're the worst. You're such a coward. Oh, hold on. Let me... Let me get you out of a moat jail real quick. <laughs> Give me a sec. Give me a second. You're free. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have another snack. Okie doke. Okay. Maybe I'm just joking. Aha! None of this is considered stealing, which is good for me. Ooh, carton of cigarettes. Oh, level up! I want to level my barter up. Fused Hybrid, hello! Thank you for the raid! Welcome, raiders! How are y'all doing today? Hi, hi! I'm playing Fallout New Vegas for the first time. Please, no spoilies. But... Thank you so much. Um... What was the other stat that I really needed? There was a, there was a skill check that I needed. I think it was Barter.
Miss Timo, hello. Speech, maybe my speech is 34. I don't think, I, I'll get it to 35, I guess, but, um. I'll get lockpick to 30. Um, my science, I'll get to 30. I'll get my repair to 25. Mimes, hello! How are you? I really should put more into guns because I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna do that. Do I have enough inventory space to take... No, I cannot take that doctor's bag. Well, I could, but then that's like literally everything I could take. Okay. I bet he loves watching me steal all his stuff. But it's not considered stealing, which is nice. <laughs> Wimes, hello! <laughs> Sorry, that's really cute. Oh! Aha. Oh. oh, God! Oh. Um... Thankfully, rounds don't have weight. Come out, come out, wherever you are. What? What? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Don't stand up, Beagle. There we go. Saved you. Uh, Warren Key. I don't know if that's going to open anything, but I'll take it. Cigarette? Um... Press it. Pre-war hat, pre-war money. Dirty pre-war business wear. <laughs> Oh, I could have grabbed the... In I thought the incinerator fuel had weight. Oh, wait. That gives me extra personality. I want that. I still need glasses, by the way. I got that perk. Oh, ammo is not... Okay, I'm gonna go pick up his stuff then on our way back down. Um... Because I have not... I, I gotta go pick that up then. Why is there blood in your hotel? Who text me? Other than Beagle. Aha. Where's your friends? There's one behind us, isn't there? No? Yeah, there's someone behind us. Where? Oh, whatever. I don't know where Beagle ran off to. The coward! I used to be a deputy like you until I took an arrow to the knee. Mm hmm. Ooh, bonnet. I don't want a bonnet. Hello. Did Beagle die? Is that why he's not following me? Would I know if he died? That sounds like gunfire. Is Beagle getting in a gunfight? Out me? Hello? God 
dang it. That moron ran off. <gasps> Kaze, thank you for the $5. You might be fighting upstairs. Fighting the bandits alone. Is he still behind me? No. Yes. Come on. Oh, ha, ha, la, la. Yeah, he's... Oh, he's bugged. You like that? All right, I can always um, take him downstairs if this becomes an issue. Doesn't matter if he dies. I don't like letting people die if I can help it, though. Ah, found you. Aha! Look at you diving headfirst into a wall. What a good boy. All right, where are you, Beagle? You following me now, or are you going? Going off on your own? Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? Oh! I didn't realize you could shoot a head off of somebody. What the hell? Well, on the bright side, I'm not running low out on ammo anytime soon. All right, cool. I'm gonna save. <gasps> Have fun pumpkin picking! This was like so much fun! Aw, oh, man! I'm envious. Enjoy yourself. I actually saw a really cute TikTok uh, where somebody... So instead of like carving the pumpkin themselves, what they did was... They... Poked some holes in it where they wanted to carve it, and then they fed it to chickens. Uh, and the chickens ate the rest, which I thought was really cute. That's all. I'm like literally at 200 carry weight. That's the door to Pram. What's this way? Rock'em sock'em robots'em. Any money? Gun cabinet, energy cell, energy cell. I don't want a plasma pistol. I can't carry it, but I can always come back for it. Um, I'm all turned around. I love that I'm just like breaking into this guy's hotel rooms. And he just does not seem upset in the slightest. Jet? I don't know what the hell that is, but it doesn't weigh anything. Bobby pin, pre war money. Phone, bed. Is that a skeleton? What kind of hotel are you running that you just have a dead body in a bed? Buddy, what the hell? And in the bathtub? <laughs> You're just gonna leave this here? Ew. Man, I thought maybe the robot was like... Thank you. I thought maybe the robot was like, Oh yeah, there are competitors, so don't go there. But he wasn't wrong. This place is nasty. He doesn't own the hotel. Oh, I thought this was his place. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. This place sucks. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't anticipate there'd be people up here. That was my bad. Oh, man. Okay, alrighty then. Good, 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 good. Um, Eagle, where'd you go? Be Eagle? Eagle? Where'd he go? Where? Buddy. Oh, there you are. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role. Oh, Wombat, well, thank you for that tip. But it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Can you tell me about the checkered suit guy? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. 
I was scal uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. Mm. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Interesting. Hello again. I don't oh. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Hmm. But isn't the guy in the prison a powder kegger? I don't think that's the kind of person that we want running your town. Yeah, a criminal being in charge of your law enforcement doesn't seem like very smart at all. And hello! Thank you. Sorry, I wanted to finish my snack. Oh, he's not? He's not a powder kegger, but he's in prison for a reason. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna mess with that. Where's the way out? This is a very confusing. There we go. Oh, he's a ganger by association. I still don't want to break someone out of there to run a town. That seems extremely irresponsible. Um. Let me get out of here first. And sell all my junk. Oh, wait, that's right. Someone recommended I upgrade my weapons, which is very smart. Did I just drop that? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Thanks for hopping in. I appreciate it. I want to repair. And then I also have a varmint rifle that I want to repair. There, that'll already save me some space. Cool. So... Where can I sell my junk here? Will the casino guy buy my stuff? Howdy. So maybe the lawman broke a few laws? Haven't we all done the same? Should we really judge? <laughs> Thanks, Kaze. <laughs> Why do you all have your guns out? Oh, I Welcome guess because the bad guys are here. Um, where do I sell my junk in this town? He's at the front. Thank you. Over here? Hiding in a shadow? No. Oh, there you are. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Um... You have anything for sale? Cool. I want to sell... This is just NCR money, right? Yeah, I have to- I have to turn NCR money into to caps, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Um... I think I have enough ammo there. I don't want ant meat. Um... of cigarettes what are these casings for upgrades they're not they don't weigh anything so I can hold on to them um fusion cells not worth anything duct tape is pretty light I'll hold on to it in case I need it for crafting don't have any plans to use dynamite um don't have any plans to use energy cells Hydra, restore limb condition. Definitely want to keep that. 
incinerator I want to sell. I want to keep my pepper. I don't know what the jet is, so I'm going to sell one. Junk food I don't want. Psycho? That's like a drug, right? Oh, he has a limit to how many caps he can give me? Oh, dang it. All right. My bad. Thanks for all your money. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh, what can I do to help bring Law back? Your guess is as good as mine. You might luck upon someone who's a natural born sheriff. I heard of one fellow what got himself locked in that NCR jailhouse up I-15. And maybe that ain't the best credential, but a sheriff's a sheriff. I imagine the NCR would be able to bring some law to the town too. But from what I've seen, they barely got the firepower to protect themselves. Hmm. It's a shame I can't have like, Sunny move here. <gasps> what about Prim Slim? Well, I guess I never thought of that. I guess he could be sheriff. If you think he could be reprogrammed for it. It's gotta be Prim Slim. It's gotta be Prim. It, Slim's the best. I have some questions. Where can I find the courier sure office? Do. I run the courier office. I have more questions. What happened? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. It started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First, there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. I don't know why you would ever side oh. with the power gangers because they're just the worst. <laughs> Raiju, welcome in, hello. All right, where is my best friend? My homeboy, my oh, pal, yeah. my rotten soldier, Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance. Reprogram Slim to serve as Prim's Sheriff using three fission batteries and four conductors. Reprogram Slim to serve as Prim's Sheriff. All right, yeah, let's go for the Science 30. I can meet this check. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! Amazing. I love this. This is so much better than an NCR guy. All right, hey, bud. Uh, Nash, where'd you go? Uh, is that him? No, where'd he go? It's too dang dark. I can't find nobody. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off to you. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, why do you keep calling them gangsters? I thought they were the power gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Mm, fair. Okie dokie. Um, something very important I have to do. I'm a cowboy. I'm a cowboy. On a steel horse I ride. I'm wanted, wanted, dead or alive. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, let me save. Beep, bop, beep, bop, boop. Yeehaw, baby! I don't want to play caravan. I don't like card games. Howdy. Howdy. Oh, everyone can leave the casino now that it's not under control, I guess? Um. Um. That's the Nash residence. I don't think I have any other quests in Prim, do I? Do I? <laughs> Wonderful cover. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um. 
I don't know if there's much else to do here. I mean, it's also late. I need to sleep. Is there a free bed I can snap in? I'm guessing this is where all the residents live when they're not hunkering down in the casino. Yeah, these are all houses. Okay, um... <laughs> Have a good one, hybrid. Thank you for hanging. I appreciate it. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Ba -ba -ba -ba. I want to sleep. Hey there. Until it is morning. Maybe there's a free bed in the Nash house. You know, for all I've done for this town. Oh wait, I think I can sleep in the other the 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 Bison Steve place. It's nasty as hell. I might just wait instead. Uh. I'll just do that. Hey there. Thank you for the hydrate. Hey there, youngster. I have questions about your robot. I beat up old thing. What do you want to know? Where'd it come from? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. Hello, Tommy. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. What's wrong with it? Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. You mind if I try to fix it? Are you welcome to try? If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrap you Don't go Examine the electronics. Two of the primary electronic systems seem to be fully functional, and the redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems, the secondary systems should compensate. Science 55! Alright, I'm gonna have to come back for that robot then. Because I'm not that smart. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can do in Prim right now. Because I got them their sheriff. Fix with parts? I don't got parts to fix it with. But I wonder if I tell the NCR there's a new sheriff in town if they'll do anything. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could share a bed with the skeleton. Wouldn't be any skin off their nose considering they have neither. <laughs> Probably worth seeing if you got the repair score needed. I don't know. If it needs science 55, I kind of doubt it. I'll just go back later. Prim's not going nowhere. Hey, C uh, Captain. Hello. Patrolling the Mojave? Yeah. We're I guess you have nothing to say, even though I you fixed your problem you for you. Oh. Krusty, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk. NCR be like that sometimes. I don't completely blame them. It sounds like they're extremely spread thin. Um, but now what? I really want to help Good Springs. Wait, Prim doesn't have any feelings about me? What the hell? I did all that work for you guys. What do you mean? You're <sighs> all right. Let's go check out Sloan. I want to see what, what Sloan's about. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> Kasi, thank you for gifting a sub to Krusty. Thank you so much for that. Krusty, enjoy ad free viewing. Lots of freaking emotes. That's the word. <laughs> and uh, a little sub badge, too. Wow. Uh, Where are we going? This way? This way? This way. Going north. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba, traveling on the road song. I love that the jalapenos don't have any radiation. I thought you said print. I was like, wait, what head cannon are we in now? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't eat those. I already ate a jalapeno. Oops. 
<laughs> That's true, though. Tragically, I can't eat spicy stuff for now. I hope it's temporary. I really do. I love spicy food. I miss chili oil. What do you mean one rad? What the hell? Why? Oh, is it because of the gross water? Rude. And you know what's really annoying to me? I keep... I guess because I've been looking up recipes on TikTok lately. I keep getting TikToks of different food recipes, which is fine in theory. Except it's all food I can't eat. And that makes me so sad. Sour Shop, hello! Yeah, I'm a, I'm a like, mecho robot android dog girl. <laughs> I wanted to do something sci-fi for Halloween this year. Um, Sloan is this way, right? Cool, yeah, I just gotta keep following this fork in the road. Some areas in the world that just have rads? Cool. Love that. Why don't I have a weapon equipped? There we go. There's a plane? I suggested the Skyrim cookbook to your throne. Was that a bad thing? Oh my god, no, I forgot there was a Skyrim cookbook. I gotta go check out my throne suggestions. I have not done that in like a hot minute. Um... I'd have to see how much of it I can cook, though. <gasps> a slime model is amazing! Ah, oh, have fun with it. I'm so excited for you. Is this the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. Probably all, all old country recipes. Yeah, I imagine it's all stuff that I could... Oh, it's rotting. Yum, yum, yum. I imagine there's stuff I could make work in there. Uh, ugh. Slime feed too brave. Never seen one of those before. <laughs> no, excuse me. Uh. You going straight to New Vegas? No. Not intentionally, anyways. I wanted to go to... Um, Sloan. I want to see what Sloan's about. What is on my map that's hostile? Not you. Over there. Whatever it is, is leaving me alone for now, so. Uh, okay, oh, I'm gonna... Oh, I have not saved recently. Thank you for that. I keep running around the open desert, and because I haven't walked it, I don't have any autosaves. Ooh. I, s I have to say, I'm still really impressed at how well this game has aged graphics-wise. This game's, like, over a decade old. And it looks real good. You know? Um, I'm really impressed by that. Um... This looks like town. Lucky 38! Hello? Hold up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. Got it. Okay. Where'd the death claws come from? Actually, wait, what is this place? This is Sloan, a camp for us quarry workers. The actual quarry, Quarry Junction, is up the road north of here. The whole thing is an NCR operation. We make cement for the NCR using the limestone we dig out with dynamite and drag lines. Dirty work, but the pay is good. Okay. Wish we got paid in caps, though. Not a lot of merchants like taking NCR paper money. Uh, what's a drag line? I have no idea what it's that means. It's a big machine which moves rocks around, piles at a time. It's pre-war tech, so you need to thump it once in a while to keep it running. <laughs> what does the NCR need with cement? It all gets shipped by rail over towards Boulder City and Hoover Dam. The NCR is probably building fortifications with... Uh... Oh, so the NCR needs the rail line so they can make cement and ship the cement. Got it. You don't get paid in caps? Nope. 
The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money, just like in the pre-war days. Trouble is that the exchange rates ain't exactly fair. Oh, that sucks. For example, a hundred bucks in NCR money is valued at roughly half that in caps around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but work is work. Sure. Um, where did the death claws come from? They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks. But now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. That really sucks. Um, have you had problem with death claws before? Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. I'll say I can take care of it to get the quest marker. Have you ever seen a death claw? They're taller than a man and far, far stronger and faster. And there's a whole pack of them out there. You'd have to be the meanest, toughest, roughest bastard in the wasteland to have any chance against them, and I don't think that's you. You'd need to take out the pack leaders, the Mother Deathclaw and the Deathclaw Alpha Male. Kill them and the pack will scatter. Pretty tough job. Tell me more about the Powder Gangers. There are a bunch of escaped cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. Hmm. I don't know who screwed up. But the powder gangers are loose. It was one group that attacked us and took our entire supply of dynamite. Okay. What can you tell me about New Vegas? I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. I've seen a lot of folks come through here thinking they'll have the easy life once they get there. It never happens. If you insist on going north, don't be expecting a rescue when you get into trouble. I mean, good on him for being honest about the danger and stuff. What the hell is this? Ew, what the... F is it a giant... Oh, your leg is injured. Oh, I have a medicine book. Do I have a medicine magazine? Dang it, I gotta come back for the rat. I hope they don't close the quarry. I need the money. I feel real bad that these people don't have work, but I am not looking to die to some death claws today. I'm gonna have to come back to this later. Cause I'm gonna be real with you. Just just hearing the death claw alpha male. None of that sounds good or appealing to me. So now I understand why they wanted me to go to Prim. So I have to go, yeah. So I have to go to Prim and then go to Nipton and go up and around this way. And then I guess this is New Vegas? I guess. Something like that. Um. All let me travel to Good Springs and because I can at least I think I have enough barter to convince Chet to help us out and I'll come back you for the explosive guy later. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. Of course. To put my business first. You understand. Your business is useless. And if you don't have anyone to sell it, sell to? You know what I mean? Like, there's no point in having a business that you save if the entire town is dead, but you do your thing, I guess. Um... I'm going to sell the leather armor. Um, I 
spray. I want to sell Psycho because I don't want to use it. Um... Uh, repair kit, weathered pistol, whiskey. Cool. Pleasure doing business with you. Take Bye, Chet. Yeah, that's also, yeah, in his defense, not everyone is a protagonist capable of taking on baddies. I'm with you on that. Like, at the same time, I don't know. Your town needs help. Why not just help? <laughs> uh. Hey, Doc. Can Victor help? I mean, we can certainly talk to Victor. Doc not here? Doc, are you home? Doc. There you are. Welcome back. Um, towns can be attacked by bandits. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Thank you. you Bye, Doc. Um... A black so clear. That's funny. I want to get out of here. Yeah, he's already taking a risk. I think that's fair. Like, equipment, ammunition, all that stuff ain't cheap, right? Um. Bring EDE to the Gibson scrapyard in Novak. I don't want to scrap them. That feels bad. Um. Fire easy. This is the one thing I want to get. I want to get Easy Pete's dynamite before I do anything else. All right. So it looks like next up, my plan is to head to Novak, right? Nipton. Bought it. Oh, there's glasses in Doc's place? Hold the phone. We're going back. We're going back. <laughs> That's important. I need those. They'll give me a stat boost. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna grab those glasses real quick. I would definitely supply the town with weapons. I want to get... I want to give this town as much of a fighting chance as possible. So I'm not... I'm gonna have to like slowly level up my explosive stat. Or find a stat boosting book. All right. Glasses. It's not stealing because it doesn't say it's stealing. Therefore, it's not. <laughs> so where's your bedroom? Chessboard, chair, book, 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 book. You know where the glasses are. That'll make this easier. I'm not going to take your cigarettes. Those are expensive. Um, thank you for the save reminder. Wow. Medicine room, I think. I'm bar- yeah, it's like a long-term borrowing situation. All right, this is the kitchen. So I want the treatment room, you said. That is in here. Okay. Uh, it's a table. Blood pack, tubing. Clipboard, earnings clipboard, finance, hot plate, chemistry set, paperweight, broken gun, tray to drinks, chair, pencil, ashtray. Um. Where am I missing these glasses? Um, ophthalmoscope. 
Might be across from the bed. All right, so this is the bed, right? Oop. Um. Can't be that way across. So it's gotta be this way across. Left of the typewriter. Reading glasses. Oh, there we go. Thank you. So, how do I look at my face? There we go. Oh, nope, never mind. I don't know. I don't know how to look at my own face, but I have glasses. And that's what Matt. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh, sit down. Oh, smart, smart, smart. Let's go take a little seat in your nice place. Ugh. Ugh. I look like a nerd. Perfect. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So now I have a bonus to my personality. So long as I... Or I think so? Perception? No, perception. Perception. I always confuse stats in this game. Um, That was worth the trip. Thank you. Nope, 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 nope. Prim. I can't believe Prim doesn't have a different opinion of me after I got them a sheriff. It doesn't feel fair. I did all this work. And for what? All right, y'all. Thank you so much for helping me in this continued playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. Um, so good news is we're slowly helping the town of Good Springs get out of their pickle. We've helped Prim get out of their pickle. Now we just got to travel to, what's it called? Novak? Nipton. Nipton and then Novak. So we'll have to check all that out, but... Thank you so much for helping me today. I really, really appreciate it.